Hi y'all, welcome to the parking lot of a shopping center. Hey guys, thanks for periscoping. I'm here in the parking lot of a shopping center with my mom. We're hanging out today. Hi Renee, hi Nadia, hi Marshes. Hey everybody, good to see you today. So I asked my mom to periscope with us. For those of you who didn't, don't know, this is my mom Debbie Titus. I'm Trina Titus Lozano. We are both ordained Christian ministers and we're also, I'm a counselor and I love periscoping with you twice today at noon and nine. But I asked my mom today to just pause a minute and uh, tell you what it means. Hey, Hi. hey Matt, good to see you. Hi. Anyway, first of all, I got to ask you guys, have you been naughty or nice, right? <laughs> <laughs> because either you're going to get coal in your stocking or maybe you'll get some candy or some goodies, but it's going to depend on if you've been naughty or nice. Good. Glad to bits. Glad you've been nice. So the power of nice. Mom, what can you tell us about that? Well, so the whole premise right now at Christmas time, of course, is that you earn a response by being nice. And if you're naughty, that you're not going to get a positive response. That's sort of, sort of the whole basis of Santa Claus. But, you know, it's actually biblical in many ways because Jesus said, come to me, all of you who are weary and heavy laden, which is an emotional stress, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke on you and learn from me, for I am... He used the word tender. I am gentle. I am kind. So wrap that all up and use a nice. more vernacular word. I'm nice. I'm considerate. I care. My responses are controlled. And learn from me for I am nice and I'm humble. I'm not arrogant. I'm not proud. I'm not aggressive. And if you look at the Amplified Bible, it breaks that down and says I'm not rude. I'm not impatient. And so why do we learn from Jesus that kind of behavior? Because that kind of behavior creates certain kinds of response. Proverbs says that a nice answer or a gentle answer actually is more powerful than aggressive wrath or violent aggression. So many times we will engage in a conversation that becomes heated and two people become aggressive in the words they use and the tones that they use. And you know by experience that aggression never turns away aggression, it inflames aggression. And Jesus gave us a formula and Proverbs, the wisdom of Solomon gave us a formula of how to diffuse aggression and the way we diffuse any kind of circumstance or situation that could take a peaceful, um, fun, joyful environment in a split second of time would be to make a, a, a sarcastic remark or just a, a uncaring action. But if there's someone being uncaring and you respond with nice, the word says that nice is actually more powerful than their lack of consideration. So in this season, if our responses are going to come back to us with consideration, it's really important that we have an attitude of being nice. You know what? Somebody else can choose to act like an idiot, but their behavior is not going to change how I'm going to respond because I'm in control of the kind of person I want to be. And I want to be like Jesus. I want to have a tender heart, considerate. I want to be kind and thoughtful to the people around me. So I have that ability and my nice is more powerful than your decision to be not nice or to be naughty. <laughs> okay, there y'all go. There is your inspiration today. Come on, you gotta be nice, right? Okay, Claire, so no matter what's going on around you, that's right. always choose to be nice because that is your, really, There's that's where all your power is. Jesus said, so. I will give you peace. He said, you will find rest for your soul when you're nice. And we want peace on earth, but hey, let's just face it, we want peace in ourselves, okay? Yeah. And we have peace in our own hearts, we can affect our family and our in our home and our community and eventually there will be peace on earth. God bless you guys and thanks for periscoping this quick scope at noon today. <laughs> I'll be back at nine o'clock tonight. God bless you. Bye bye. Merry Christmas.